Welcome to another One Monroe Minute. I'm Blake, and today I'm going to be showing you ball and spring plungers. Ball plungers are indexing plungers with a shallow ball at the top that allows it to easily change position under pressure. They feature a spring inside of a shaft. The shaft has exterior threading on the sides and a drive recess on the bottom, which allows it to be driven into components. Like ball plungers, spring plungers consist of a spring enclosed shaft with exterior threading. They're used for many of the same indexing and positioning applications. Spring plungers, however, feature a nose instead of a ball. The nose on spring plungers is longer and narrower than a ball. When exposed to a force, the spring will compress, becoming shorter, and the ball or nose will recede into the shaft. Once the force has been removed, the spring will revert to its original size and shape while pushing the ball back out of the shaft. The outside of ball and spring plungers can be made from steel, stainless steel, or plastic, while the ball or nose is composed of steel, stainless steel, plastic, or ceramic. The spring is made of stainless steel. When considering your application's load capacity, it's important to know that spring plungers are made for heavier loads, while ball plungers are made for lighter loads. Spring plungers are designed exclusively for use in applications in which a force is applied from the top. The nose won't move if a force is applied from the side. Ball plungers can handle force applied from the top and the side. At One Monroe, we stock a variety of plungers for applications in various industries from medical to furniture to automotive. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on our next One Monroe Minute.